This video is about some critical areas where you need to pay attention to sealing. This is the stub going that goes through the lid. It has a flare at this end, a half inch hole. And then a little lip around the bottom is a flare lip. That's 9 sixteenths of an inch. And then the threads are 23 30 seconds of an inch. They're much larger. And then down here is a gap. And the gap is in the fitting. And that needs to be filled with an O-ring. And the O-ring we use is a 9 16th inner diameter O-ring with an outer diameter of 3 quarters of an inch. Here's 9 16th. And this 9 16th shaft goes down through the threads and leaves a 19 16th. 9 sixteenths area down here of a gap. I have to put an O-ring down into the gap in order to seal it off. But it's a little problematic because the 9 sixteenths O-ring here that fits this and that is much smaller than this threaded part. So I'll show you how to do that. Here's my opening and my lip and then the threads, and then right in there, that's the gap. Here's my O-ring. If I put the O-ring right on the top here, I see it, it won't fit at all. I need to take my fingers and stretch this O-ring out and roll it. So now the O-ring is stuck on the threads and it's expanded. And watch what happens, I'll just roll the O-ring down and boom, it seats inside the gap. When I put the nut on there to tighten that up through the lid, I put another O-ring on the threaded shaft. And together, the one is on one side of the lid, the outside one's on the inside of the lid. When you tighten that down, it squeezes the O-rings against the shaft and seals the lid. Without that, all your purchase oils would escape through here and you wouldn't get much. So that's the first thing, that's the O-rings. 9 16th O-ring will slide right over and seal that gap. But then we have a difficulty with the unit. So let's take a look at that. So here's my unit, here's the lid. But this seal right here is designed that when there's pressure that is built up in the, the cooker, it pushes that way and makes a seal. But we're venting the pressure off. So if you just put that lid on there without doing something else, your vapors and your steam will escape. So the best way to do that, I've found, is just put the lid on. And secure it. And then take two of these little puppies. These are very pistol grips. Put a pistol grip on that side. Grip, and I put them on so that they just cinch up a little bit. And when I want to seal it, I take both of them and at the same time squeeze down on both of them. And that pushes that seal down against the lip and makes it tight to the steam. And in the hole I have two O-rings preventing the steam from coming. That means every bit of steam that's in that uh, chamber will go up and through the glassware. I just thought I would share these two things with you so that you can see there are ways to get around problems when you are doing this kind of work. Some people call it jury rigging, other people call it fabrication, but you always have to make do when you're fabricating. 
Okay, you get those done, you get that sealed up, and you're on your way to making some really good quality essential oils and hydrosols. Thanks for watching.